Yo, what is going on YouTube? My name is Bion from Bion.com and welcome back to this video where I'll be sharing with you guys a tip, alright? So, quick disclaimer, a tip, it is not any formal training. It is something that I've came across either by a friend, my mentor, my students, or my partners and I just thought, hey, you guys can benefit from this so I want to share this tip with you guys, alright? So, if you guys have already clicked onto this video, either via my headline, my thumbnail, then, you know, the topic that I want to talk about today is how to make your offer sexy, alright? Now, it sounds funny, but hear me out. So, your offer, let's define offer. Offer basically is the, the program, the product or service that you want to sell. That is an offer. Okay, not a product, the offer, okay? I want to establish this because many people assume or rather they ties in product and offer as one thing and service and offer as another thing that's not true rather your offer can represent a product or a service if not even both so let's define it first so how to make your offer sexy to be honest this is an important step to get people wanting to buy from you because they found your product, or rather, excuse me, your offer, sexy. Now, what is the another word to, uh, that we can use for sexy is attractive. You, yeah, I know some of you guys may come to me and say, "Hey, why didn't you just say attractive? What, what, what is it with this clickbait?" Well, clickbait is also how I make my thumbnail, my video look sexy. There you go. <laughs> but okay, all jokes aside, attraction, right? Attraction. So, how to make your offer looks attractive to your target audience, your dream customers, you fundamentally have to understand what is the thing that appeal to them the most. And really that's it. That is it. So let's let's do a case study and let's run by an example, right? This is the easiest way to do it, honestly. Offer. Offer number one talks about traffic. You would like to promote or sell your traffic related offer to anybody okay the question is what would make them think that they need this traffic too that's the first question why you, your copy your messaging <laughs> your product description can be anything that talks about Oh, traffic is the level of our business. No traffic, no sales. Traffic is people. More traffic you have, more you know sales that you make. Sounds logical, right? But but still, why? Why would people want your offer? I know you have informed that hey, traffic is the level of our business. It's super important. I agree. But why you? Why should I choose your solution? to my problem and again what is my problem do i have a traffic problem or am i looking for an alternative that talks that deals with traffic see so i hope this this form of questioning makes sense to you guys because you guys have to really identify what attracts people to your offer not being able to define that, you will never know what to, well, offer them. Pun intended. You have, you have no idea what to attract them with. Case study number two. If you are selling coaching, okay, coaching. Why choose you? Have you guys thought about it? Why choose you? You can say, oh, I have made five figures in a month. I have coached multiple students. My students are also seeing results. Great. Other coaches are having the same stuff as well. Other coaches are seeing great results for themselves. Their students are seeing great results. So it what it brings us back to why choose you? You see, it doesn't matter if it's a service or if it's a product that you want to sell. The underlying tone is why should your audience choose you? You have to let them know. That is how you can identify what attracts them to buy or want to buy your offer. 
and if you have a funneling process even more so if you just can address their needs you can get them to well pay for it and of course you earn it so to make an offer sexy number one is really ask yourself the question what makes them choose us not what we tell them what we can do or what we have done but rather why should they choose us or me that's the first step then the second question comes in where what can you do for them see it is not this second step should not be the first step that most people think is the first step it's not honestly it's not it's the second step right and the last point is going to be is it going to be value for money or in, in other words is value stacking let the people let your audience see the value that you want to provide for them so a quick recap okay the first step to make your offer sexy or attractive is ask yourself this question why should my audience choose me there are so many other coaches service providers who have what I have what makes them choose me or what will push them to choose me that's the very first question okay the second question is what can I do for them not the other way around what can I do for them and last but not least, it's going to be value stacking. Why, or rather, how can I value add to them almost immediately, if not immediately, upon them joining or taking up my service or product? These are three steps that you have to know and you need to know so that your offer looks sexy. Really, it's as straightforward as that but it's definitely not as easy as it sounds i assure you that but should you have the answers to this you will definitely be able to transform your offer into something that's super super sexy super super attractive that people just can't help but coming back for more and get more people to go find you or grab whatever you have to offer them and that is the bottom line all right so thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys found tremendous value in this affiliate tip video and again this is not just simply as an affiliate tip it can be used for any business entrepreneur any niche that you guys belong in i sincerely believe these three simple steps is going to help you guys out in the long run all right so thank you guys for watching this video have a nice day take care and i'll speak to you guys in my next one cheers